In this video, we're gonna be talking about five things to consider when buying a new home and expecting a child. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm here with... Sam Eliopoulos from Guaranteed Rate and I'm one of the top loan officers in the United States. Yeah, I think the first thing to consider is the space. Most likely, if you're looking to make a move, then it's because of lack of space. Yes, and on that note, don't necessarily buy for today's needs. Mm -hmm. Think about tomorrow, right? Yep. You'll hear me quite often say that the only people who will win when you move are the real estate agent and the tax guy and uh, actually the, the loan officer guy as well. When you are buying a home, uh, try to buy for the longer term. Buying a house where you feel quickly cramped and need to move out quickly in most cases will not result in you know, a net positive matter. Net positive. I, I think what you're trying to say here is without having a loss after accounting for the closing costs when you buy the house and, and then when you sell it. Exactly. Uh, essentially, those closing costs on the selling side will be about 5 to 6%. So moving every couple of years, that's, a, that's such a great idea. Yes, if you're planning on making a move within a two-year window, call it, I think, then buying is just probably not the best option for you. Uh, did a real estate agent just uh, recommend renting? Eh, come on now. I've always recommended that if your timeline is two years or fewer, then renting is most likely not that right choice. And on that note, let's jump to consideration number two. If you're looking to make a move and are expecting a child, then you should really be thinking about how the layout in the house will work. Yes, this one, it's an important one. A good example of this is that a lot of young parents do not want to be on a different floor than their children, right? So a downstairs master bedroom, it just might not be the best fit for you. Or a layout that is more broken up could be a downside for when you have young kids and having them play in different play areas. I can't begin to tell you how nice it, it is to be able to watch your kids from the kitchen when you're cooking dinner. Sorry, I meant watching dinner. Uh, being cooked. Yeah. Okay. So another example that kind of falls under layout is the type of bathroom. So if you only have one bathroom in a house, then the general thinking is that you need at least one bathroom with a tub. So if that one bathroom only had a stand-up shower, then there is a good chance that the bathroom, it's just not going to work out all that well shortly down the road. And consideration number three when buying a house and expecting is thinking about the neighborhood and the area that the home is in. Uh, yes, this one can make a big difference. Uh, maybe you're looking for a quintessential neighborhood that has the tree-lined streets or a cul-de-sac. Or maybe you're in a more urban setting and want a neighborhood that is close to the playground and schools. I think the point here is that the community that you live in when raising kids can make a big difference. And I have to say, even when moving into a community and not knowing anyone you tend to meet people pretty quickly that have kids. And it's because so many people are in the exact same situation that you are. And uh, consideration number four is schools, which are very much connected to the neighborhood that the home is in. Even when you're just expecting or uh, you're about to have a baby and you still want to consider the school district and the neighborhood elementary school. Keep in mind that this is going to vary a little bit from state to state, but here in Massachusetts, we have one of the best school systems in the country. So even our mid-tier schools are actually better than the top schools in other states. Jeff, I know this is a state specific, but is there a resource that you like better than others when it comes to doing school research? Yeah, I know here in the Boston area, I personally like the Boston Magazine school rankings. I just personally believe that the local research is better than the big resources. So I'd first look for local school rankings and local publications. Otherwise, U.S. News and World Report, I think that's a pretty decent resource. And the fifth thing that a person should consider when buying a house and that they're expecting a new child is they really need to anticipate your finances changing. Yeah, this is a big one. Uh, there are benefits to buying a house before you have the baby as you haven't taken any maternity leave, which can sometimes impact your income. Sammy, this one is really on your world. So can you just elaborate on that a little bit? Well, this one could be a little bit complicated because state and federal law dictates that you are guaranteed your, to get your job back and we can actually use your full income when qualifying you. So it doesn't really affect you from a qualification standpoint, but you know, I generally think about is the increase in expenses after that baby is actually born, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's a, that is a big one. So, I mean, daycare, that's a great example. I mean, that can cost you a pretty penny. Yep. Or in my case, my wife actually stopped working after our first child was born. So this is why it was a huge benefit for us, at least, to buy a house before, um, you know, Reagan was born. Which kind of leads us into a bonus six consideration, which is about timing. For all the reasons we just talked about, you really want to think about the timing of buying and when your baby is born, how it will, how it will affect your life. Because things are about to change in a big way. <laughs> I was actually just thinking back to one of my first homes that I ever sold. My clients actually gave birth to their twins on closing day. 
now that I've had two kids and I'm actually about to have my third, I can't even begin to imagine like this today, just this process and the craziness they were probably going through. Well, Sammy, I, I think we did it. These are the five things to consider when buying a house and you're expecting a new child. If you're thinking about buying a home, then Sammy can help you. He works for the number two lender in the country and is one of their top 10 mortgage bankers. And if you're thinking about making a move, then be sure to reach out to this guy. He's one of the top real estate agents in the state and will take great care of you. All of our contact information, it's in the description below. So if you have any questions, just feel free to jump down there, reach out to us. But you can also reach us at youtuberealestateagent.com. Just fill out your name and your contact information, and we're going to reach out to you. So let us know if you have any questions. And until next time.